feminism versus misandry. A lot of people are getting it all wrong. The fact that we get a lot of people complain about these people that call themselves feminists is a good thing. I'll tell you why. We've gotten noticed and have built a presence. A presence that is going to last a long, long time. Feminism, true feminism, is the belief in and advocacy of the political, economic, and social equality of the sexes expressed, especially through organized activity on behalf of women's rights and interests, according to Merriam-Webster Dictionary. This means that a feminist is someone who believes that women and girls have every right to hold political, economic, and high social positions without any oppression from the opposite sex. Lately, it seems to me that we have misandrists hiding under the feminist banner. They are normal people like you and me and are everywhere. Misandrists hate men and boys in general. Misandry could be belittling, being violent, and completely excluding yourself from any activity involving men. Here in Nigeria, we may not have come across such offensive comments, but we see it in their actions. The thing is that a lot of people are misandrists without even knowing it. Some just don't want to believe or even admit it. Think about the times you were in school as a little girl and objected from participating in extracurricular activities with boys. Or worse, holding hands. That's how long misandry has been living amongst us. Feminism is all about empowering, about women supporting women and girls supporting girls to a just cause, building one another up for the seeable future. Why have I brought this up? It's about time that we lay it down on the table. We've got quite a number of them that look at us feminists as misandrists. They take a part of the blame for being ignorant and not sourcing for knowledge. Regardless of the sex, if you believe that women and girls have every right to hold exclusive positions as men in all fields, you are a feminist. Yes, you are a feminist. Are you a feminist? You wouldn't as a man deny your wife, sister, mother or friend a position that you are entitled to, would you? So are we all feminists? No, I'm not. I'm a human being. I think for me, that had been, has always been my issue with the tagging. You know, there's always, when it comes to women issues, we tend to, you know, want to label things. When we're, we're, we're human beings, I think we should look more at these issues from the lens of, you know, human beings. If a man is a human being, a woman is a human being. So if a human is entitled to go and work and earn 5,000 naira, then you don't, it has nothing to do with the sex. If it's a human being, you are entitled to work. Number two... Um, feminism got a bad name from the people practicing it because well, I, this, today is the first time I'm hearing of Minini, Miss Misandry. Uh -huh. It's today I'm hearing it because feminism had carried all of it because of the people who were behind it. It's now that feminism is better defined because they needed to step out and make it clear. We don't hate men, no. It's just the way we have been shouting and doing it. It's, it's not we have been very aggressive. Okay, so we'll be ladylike about it, but now presenting you know, the, um, the issues going forward. Um, number three, the one about holding hands, it's not because we were Miss An Andreas, what's the... Miss uh -huh. We were practicing it. We were young. They said we should, if we touch boys, we'll get pregnant. It had nothing to do with it. We didn't know what it was. We were, we were supposed to be till we got to a certain stage and all. So what I'm just saying is that I, I think going forward now that, you know, thankfully, you know, feminism is beginning to bring itself out as, look, it's economic, social, you know, the general well-being of women in relation to, you know, all these factors. It's clear. It's not that we hate men or we're aggressive or we don't want them or whatever, but we want to make sure that we're heard. I think there should be the emphasis also on the fact that we're human first. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, human That's first. Right. Absolutely. And, you know, yes, in an ideal world, in a utopia, Yes, we're humans, but the reality today is no, we're not, mm. right? So the women don't have the rights that they should have. Yeah. So you'd expect that somebody was, is thinking extra and saying how, I mean, I have two daughters, I have a wife, I'm already outnumbered, <laughs> right? So um, <laughs> I'm, whether I like it or not, I'm a feminist. 
But beyond that, beyond the labeling, like, yeah, like Comfort labeling. said, is what is the spirit behind it? Yeah. Right? What is the objective? What are we trying to achieve with the whole idea of feminism? Is equality. Yeah. Right? It's saying if a man deserves 200 naira, then a woman deserves just as much. Right? A woman doesn't deserve 199. Once it's one naira short, someone needs to say, what's going on here? Yeah. That's basically the spirit behind it. Yeah. And once it crosses that and becomes another thing, then it becomes abuse. Yeah. Right? So it's just achieving the critical balance between understanding the objective and the outcome you want to, you know, uh, you want to get versus when you now cross the line and then it becomes you know, something else. And it's easy to now label you and say, oh, then throw away the baby with the bathwater. You know, I, so. I think what has caused the reason for the clear distinction mm -hmm. is that they found out, or feminists found out, that mm -hmm. they had become the same thing they were fighting. Mm -hmm. And that okay. has shown clearly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, in, this, and in that kind of world, Man was had already started becoming an indigenous species <laughs> because <laughs> they seem to take it to a wounded line or takes things more personal. So they seem to take it to another level. But like Comfort said also, I have always called myself a humanist. I, I believe everybody deserves the best of opportunities they get, regardless of gender, tribe, religion. I even always say governance is not based on gender, tribe, or religion. So I, I don't look at it anyway. A lot of people have grown to see things differently. When, mm. yeah, so there's people that once they just read a story, and I've seen this occur on social media, once they read a story, they don't even want to know the other side of the story. If it's a woman, they are behind the woman. Mm. If it's a man, they are behind the man. Mm. They don't want to know how else it occurred. And you know, this is creating more of a fracas. And we are becoming a more unintent. You know, a lot of people think we are more intelligent now as a generation. Trust me, mm -hmm. we are far becoming more unintelligent mm -hmm. than the generations, the 14th and 15th century people. Because we have so much information, mm -hmm. but have value for nothing. Yeah. Mm. For, me, for me, I think mm -hmm. the issue of know. feminism mm -hmm. has been back. misinterpreted. Yes. You know, the initial ideology behind feminism was equality, inclusion for women. Women should be involved in every other thing that the men do. But I think there's been, um, I think the way the message is being passed, is being passed wrongly yes. on certain um, issues. Like for instance, uh, when there was a story on Twitter about a lady who said um, she, she bought a house for her husband or something like that. Mm -hmm. you know, so there are a lot of comments like, why would you, you know, buy a, a house for your man? And before we could say anything, <laughs> everything just went di in different ways. <laughs> and yeah. all the ladies came out to <laughs> say, why would she? <laughs> like, why would you? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> like, what if he cheats? What if <laughs> he leaves you? Why would you buy? So, you know, there's this... Um, Women supporting women has also yeah. been misinterpreted. Yes. yes, because a lot of women would also, um, if a woman does something wrong, a lot yeah. of people say, okay, because she's a woman yeah. and I need to support my fellow woman, I wouldn't scold her. Yeah. So I think the issue has been, but it's a very good ideology, especially if we're looking at it in terms of the workplace where you see some organizations, I think things are changing now yeah. due to the issue of the feminism ideology. Yeah. Things are changing now. A lot of companies would rather employ a man than a woman. But things are much different now. I see a lot of women also taking up very, you know, good roles in companies, becoming yes. like now virtually all the banks have female CEOs. Yes, yes. virtually all the banks. Are, I'm not sure. I think the education is important as well. I'll yes. tell you why. Yes. I mean, I've conducted a lot of interviews. I find when I ask the men, oh, what do you want to earn? They just go straight on, I want to earn this. But the women will say, oh, you know, a lot of times. You know, they're less. And I say, what, what is wrong with you? I, I, you know, I do the education right there and then. Yeah. Tell me exactly what you want to earn. I just interview a guy that's, you know, then you come out tomorrow and say, if I'm, but you, you're here shrinking when it comes to your value and your worth yeah. as far as money is concerned. Obviously not, you know. So you have to also do that education every now and then and yeah. having to tell people, this is not the time to shrink. You have the opportunity. Okay, you, you have the lights. Go ahead. You know, the truth I need to about bring out a, a okay. point here. Yes. I have never believed 
that between the sexes there could be equality. I was just I've a, only okay. believed there could be equity. Very now good. I'll yeah. define. I was just about equality, to say equality. I don't. If you give a fifty kg bag of rice to a man and a woman, the man will carry it better. Exactly. You can't expect the woman exactly. to carry it the same way. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what you must do is ensure that while she's carrying a fifty kg bag of rice, there's someone to help her because she's a woman. Mm -hmm. There should be a balance. And there are times women are stronger in managerial yes. positions, yes. actually making decisions. They are more emotional and caring about things. Yeah. A man just That's takes the obvious logical decision, which mm -hmm. might be destructive without thought process. So they both have their advantages. We should learn to play the line according to those advantages. Fantastic. And no more, the, the, we just give them equal. It's not possible. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to bring out. That even with the feminism, we have mm. to be realistic and practical with what is on ground. You mm. can't call mm. equality. They say, come on, as you rightly said, mm. log cement. Now you can't yeah. do it. Yeah. But it's the equity that if, a, if there's a job, the number of men that apply should equal the number of women that apply. If he's going to earn this, you should earn that. But there must be a balance struck. Because whether we like it or not, there is a home that needs to be built. We, we can begin to argue it in all shades and groups. But what it is, what is on the ground, is what is on the ground. Yeah. So, yes. So, it seems that we have so many misconceptions about feminism. But we have to put this discussion on hold as Tolu is next. Stay tuned.